So today I wanted to look at Tidy Viewer, or TV for short. TV is a cross-platform CSV pretty printer that uses column styling to maximize viewer enjoyment. I thought this was an interesting enough package to do a little review on. Let me talk about what I want to cover in this video. Uh, first I want to do a little TV demo, do TV versus cat, and TV versus column. So I'm just going to follow along with the readme here and pick one of these data sets. I'm going to do the pigeon racing data set. Apparently there are pigeon races and that data gets recorded. So we can cat pigeon racing to TV. And this is what TV gives us. So TV dimensions are 400 rows by 11 columns. Each of the column headers are blue and that's distinct from the actual data in the data set. NAs are filled with this red NA and on the left there is a index. And finally on the bottom for whatever isn't viewed in tidy viewer there's a little ellipsis with and then it says how many more how many rows are left. All right. So that is the TV demo. All right, next on the list is TV versus cat. So if I were just to cat the data, everything would be printed out. It's a little bit hard to see what's going on. Um, and you know, the first, my first impression at least was to say, well, that's just because you aren't using head. So if I were to use head, still, uh, this is a little bit less of a pleasant viewing experience compared to this. So that is TV versus cat. And finally, TV versus column. So column is a standard uh, Unix utility that could be used for viewing CSVs. Here is the man page for column. Uh, it's got it's got a decent amount of functionality. And uh, yeah, so this is this is what I guess I would use if if I didn't know about TV. So. In the README, if I pass this section here on how it handles uh, significant digits, there is a section on TV versus column. So I'm just going to follow along what's in this picture here. So cat, pigeon racing, uh, yeah, sure, head, n, 25, and then cat that to column with the options here, T, S, and the separator here is a comma, and boom, that's what it looks like. So this looks pretty clean uh, at first glance, but you'll see the eligible column is blank. And just by glancing at this, you might think, well, that's because eligible is NA. And that's not true. Uh, what's really going on is that uh, another column is blank. So if I pipe this to TV instead, you'll see that in the actual data, it's a uh, name that's missing. And so because name is missing, all of that gets offset and pushed pushed to the wrong column. So that's pretty compelling. That's that's a that's a unique feature of TV. Also is this idea of column overflow logic. So uh, let me explain what that is here. So if I were to take pigeon, let's take the whole thing and cat it to column. Oh, you know what? Let me. I'm not. I'm not showing this off right. I have to squish the the screen together. All right. So what's going on is when I I shrink the 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 terminal here, the data gets squished together. Now, if I were to run the same command and pipe it to TV, it handles it a little differently. Uh, it'll print what it can fit on the terminal, and then for any extra, it'll say, hey along with the 375 more rows there's seven more columns color sex ent probably entry arrival speed to win and eligible i could spread this out just a little bit further run tv again it fits a few more of those columns on there but still says hey i couldn't fit speed to win eligible on there so uh that's that's kind of a nice viewing experience and that's that's really the purpose of tv is to just make it a little bit nicer to view 
CSVs, something that's a little bit of an upgrade from cat or column. And that's all I've got today. Thanks for watching.